Live at Home Depot. Welcome back. This is our post Christmas first entry back into Home Depot since Christmas Day, which would be yesterday. And now I thought I'd come in today and see what happened, see what got rummaged through and what's left and if they dropped the price on anything. So, yeah, it's actually, um, yeah, there's a fair amount of people in here today, but you know, this part here in the, in the tool area is actually fairly empty. But here is what we've got so far. So this was not here when I came in a couple of days ago, right before Christmas Eve, I was in here. And so we've got this M18 kit here. This is the brushed drill driver two kit. Oh, this thing weighs a ton. So right here, you get this. And by the way, so this kit is 169 here. So it's the M18 two piece with one and a half amp hour battery. And yes, it, it does say they're brushed. And you know, uh, what do we got? Yes, yeah, there's your kit number right there, 2691-22. What's up, Anthony? Hello, Stan. Happy holidays to all of you folks and Marcus. Hey, and novice Nixus, he doesn't think he's been the first one to ever see our live stream live. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah, so they're giving you the, the CP 1.5 amp hour batteries on this kit. Yeah, so 169 is not a bad deal to get started in the Milwaukee line, really, when you think about it, uh, to get two decent brushless tools. All right, and then what have we got over here? So what they did was, I mean, look, this whole area just emptied out in just a matter of a few days. So I don't know if they just kind of read change things and shuffle things about. I knew they weren't going to sell all of these Ryobi miter saws back here. Uh, but I did see a couple of items that dropped in price. Let me uh, find out where those were. Okay, right here, the rigid. So here, this was the only, a uh, couple of only, like two or three things that I saw in here where they actually did drop the price. So you have, remember, there was two versions of this, this kit. You could get the one that has the 16 and the 18, or you could get the one that has the 16 with the 23, uh, the pin nailer, right? And so both of these dropped to 139 from 169 there. And Gary Gold says, whoop. Wow, and we got James all the way from over in Sweden. Sweden! I wish they had Home Depot over there. I don't think they do. I don't really know if they're in any of the European countries, really. Because I know the guys in the UK are complaining that, that the tools cost too much over there. Because they don't really have a Home Depot. I'm trying to kind of lift the bottom of my mask a little bit. Because today I chose comfort over clarity. And I chose my, my thicker cloth mask. Um, but it, you don't hear it as well, so I kind of lift up the bottom a little bit and I bring the camera closer to my mouth so you can hear. And Stan says, did you see the one online deal with the M12 inflator battery charger in the bag with the impact in the socket? Yeah, um, I think Toolboss had mentioned something about that. And um, I was looking here for the $99 version of it to drop. Let me turn around and check in a second. Um, so right here, the two that we have left here are the 16 and the 23 and just as i figured because see the 23 gauge is not as popular you know the pin nailer uh is not as popular to get as a brad nailer from what we've seen so this is the this one is sold out but this is the one that we have right here in stock right now so check at your store and see if they got it there what's up paul from newport richie he's checking in and uh, so here's the kit What's strange, guys, I suspect there might be something getting ready to go on with this one, with the uh, the $99 M12 inflator here. Because right now, when I scanned it in on the Home Depot app here with my phone, it didn't register, which is odd. That usually is what happens when something is on clearance here. But I had the girl scan it, and it scanned it at $99. So she had the official you know, Home Depot scanner. And so these scanned it at $99. So I'm still hoping... I don't want to come in here and pay 99 for this thing. I think I should be able to get it for a lot less, you know. So, we'll see. And they, they got more of these in. I think, actually, I don't think they, they probably just consolidated it from, there was another end cap that had these on it. And this socket set is still 99 bucks here. My inflator kit was 84 before Christmas. Yeah, they never dropped it here. See that? So, yeah, what CD did you get that in, Novice Nick? Yeah, so this is the one we're hoping to get cheaper. Are there any good deals on circular saws? Well, yeah, we'll check in a sec. 
Uh, you got the DeWalt one here, but see, I don't think this one is part of, is that one part of the buy one, get one? Let me see. It is. Yeah, so let me see. If you buy any one of these three kits over here on the left, you can get this 20 volt max brushless six and a half circ saw that you see right there, right? That's this guy. So you can get him as a buy one, get one. And then if you want, you could do the hack and return the kit. You know, you say you buy one and, uh, is it they $199? Yeah. So if you buy like one of these two kits right here at $199, you can choose that as your free gift. And then return this guy, and they'll probably give you about half of that value, so like $90 off. You'll probably end up spending around the $70 or $80 range for the Cirque Saw. Mm -hmm. But remember, this is only a six and a half inch Cirque Saw, okay? So, just wanted to remind you guys of that. So I was wondering what they did with all of the DeWalt Atomics. This was in a big pallet over here in the middle of the tool floor right here last week. And I remember thinking, man, they got a bunch of them. They must have sold a boatload of these like within two days of, of Christmas or something. Because when I was in here, look, three days ago, guys, look at this. Look at this, man. It's like decimated here now. And tons and tons of the Ryobi stuff sold. All of these, there was a whole bunch more of the Ryobi uh, miter saws and stuff here that I thought for sure they were never going to sell. And apparently they did because they're all gone. But also they, they kind of cheated a bit by building this little Shaka Gillis shrine right here with all of the Ryobi boxes stacked up there, you know. And by the way, I was just in Lowe's on the way over here, guys. There was zero, nothing, no deals whatsoever beyond what we had already the other day. So they haven't lowered the prices of anything yet. Those Craftsman floor mats that everybody's been watching, still the same price. And they still got the, the rigid miter saws here for $349. The table saws sold out already, okay. <laughs> Novice Nick says, Ryobi is dumpster fill. <laughs> hey, Shaka had a new one the other day. He came on and he says, Ryobi is crud. Usually he says, Ryobi's trash. All right, so, yeah, the lights are still here. Uh, all right, sorry about that. I don't know what happened, but um, we hit a little dry spot in the signal, and all of a sudden the whole YouTube app locked up. Back. Now, I was getting ready to show you over here, uh, this other DeWalt here. Look at this, these guys have this whole cart here. So people are coming in and they're buying all of this stuff. It's crazy right now, still. All right, but uh, many of you remember that we showed you, it was probably in late October or early November, that they had these here for $9.99. This is the DeWalt job site organizer, right? And so these are, I scanned this in a few minutes ago. These are, these are back up to $14.99. So they're still cheaper than the normal $19.99 price. But they're not as, you know, of course, not as low as that $9.99 price that we were enjoying a month ago. But yeah, we got a few of these. And, you know, many stores got wiped out of those too. So they must have gotten some more in because we were completely wiped at this store. We got two there. And we got two sitting over here. But in, um, of course, these are sitting in the place of the Husky. <laughs> The husky one there so the small husky drawers are around 130 i don't know i haven't seen them yet uh we might not have any left i don't know if you might oh yeah this one right here is this the one you're talking about so they're 129 here yeah and i don't know they, they really feel very wiggly you know everything looks fine in the store until you put a load in it that's you know my question is how good are these with a load in it but you know, for 130 bucks, you probably can't go wrong with this one. All right. <clears throat> now, we've pretty much sold out of most of the pack outs, but I think it looks to me like we've got a bunch of crates over here. Let me see. Let me see what we've got. Yeah, yeah, we actually have probably enough to make about... No, not enough to make any towers, because all we have is the middle and the small, and we got some crates, so we don't even have the wheeling part. The bottom rolling toolbox right but we do have some pack outs left and i want to go back on the back and check the clearance real quick because i know we're going to run out of battery pretty soon guys sorry it was a busy day for us we still have a lot of these buy one get one flex bolts but i don't see the batteries so i don't know if the store has the battery in stock or not because i'm looking over here i don't see them 
They could be in the cages up by the register. And hello, my name is Bill. I'm looking for a Ryobi 18 volt paint sprayer. Now that one, I don't know if we have here. Um, I can walk by the paint aisle on our way back out of this area. And then I want to show you guys that DeWalt lawnmower, the 20 volt, the 20 volt mower. So we're going to come right over here to the clearance section. All right, so this is one of my favorite parts. And our Home Depot here has probably the best clearance section of all the Home Depots and certainly beats the heck out of the Lowe's. Uh, now, we looked at this last week. This is still set at 176, so I'm hoping that comes down a, a little bit. That's your uh, fuel 3 8 inch impact wrench with the friction ring, which is, I think, what most people prefer. Um, now, we have several of these sawzalls right here the fuel the m18 fuel version and it's weird i got this one down here that says 160 right but they've got others that say 180 like this one here so i don't know and this is too lonely on these by the way guys see all right so we've got too lonely on those and as usual we always have a bunch of locks um, I'm willing to bet that if you scan these in, these are going to scan in lower there. And Mr. Dragonclaw Woodworks sends in a dollar super chat. Thank you so much for that. That, uh, that helps out, guys, when uh, people send those in because that helps us buy more and more tools that we keep doing on our giveaways. Now, this one here, here's your three blade set here. They're all three nine inch. You get a general purpose, a wood, and a pruning. And these are 1488. Was 1998 there. Let me see what else. Uh, yeah, this one's kind of interesting. Remember, I told you they were resetting the lighting section here, and so they got this pendant here. So this thing's 229, but I suspect that they're not. I suspect they're not a discount because usually it would say clearance or something, maybe, or it would say was on there, and it's not saying anything, so I'm not sure. Here's that rigid, the heat gun. Now this was already 79, like back in October. We showed you this on the floor, right? 79 bucks before. I don't know if it's any lower now. Yeah, a lot of people are always looking for heat guns. I get asked about those every now and then. All right. Let's see what else we got on this side. Anything worthwhile? They usually put all the little tchotchkes over here. Yeah, and you see these Makita blades? These have been sitting here for like a year. Because every time I come up to this thing, I, I always see that here. Here you go. So this is a 94. Yeah, this is that Ryobi camera. So they marked it down from 139 down to 94. There's your number, the RP4206. So I don't know if you're giving you a cut. They're showing a color picture here, but I don't know if you're really getting one here. You know. And Matthew says, Jeff, what's the best time to buy a lawnmower? Anytime they're on sale. I just don't like coming in and paying um, full price. And speaking of lawnmowers, while we still have a couple of percent left and we're rapidly dropping, I'm going to take you guys over and show you that DeWalt because we're probably going to run out of juice before then. Okay, I wanted to show you this here. So this is that Husky shelf that I guess it goes up 73, 78 inches. This is that really nice rugged one, right? But they're 179 here on sale of 199 from normally 199. But at Costco today, I was in there and I saw the exact same one from a different company for 139, which is the lowest price I've ever seen at a Costco. Last time it was 149. And they got one of these left, but I thought these were lower at, at Black Friday. This says 179. I thought they may have been down to 149. I do want to kind of get one of these. I do like these. So anyway, I'm going to keep going until the battery dies, which would be probably within three minutes. So I'm hoping I get over there in time to show you that. I hope I get over there in time to show you that DeWalt lawnmower. So we just got it in, right? What I don't understand is why 
did they go with a 20 volt and not a flex volt lawnmower? That one just boggles my mind. Maybe some of you guys know on that. But I certainly don't know why they would have done that. If you're trying to impress people, you go with your most powerful battery. I mean, look at Ego's using what, the 54 or 56 volt? Cobalt's up to 8. All right, we're back again and we're right in front of it. Here we go. We'll get about a minute before this thing dies on us, but here it is, see? So it's a brushless direct drive lawnmower. Here's your model number. DCM WP233U2. Now this was not here the other day, so they must have just got it in. Probably, I would say the day before, uh, it either came in on Christmas Eve or the day before, because I was just in here a few days ago and they didn't have this. So look, it comes with two chargers, comes with two batteries, and I believe they're 10 amp hour batteries and it comes with two of them. So yeah, pretty nice. And it does say that it works with a 60 volt product, so we'll see. I mean, you could probably put a 60 volt battery on here, but I don't think it's going to give you any more power. That would be uh, my guess, otherwise it would say it. Why they didn't design it to work with it, I don't know. One other thing I can tell you about it is that it folds and stands upright, which I like that. Vertical storage. You like it to vertical storage? And so, by the way, my screen is so dim right now because of the battery that um, I can't read anybody's messages. So, if you guys have any questions, uh, and let's see, Stan is saying, I can barely read it. Show the SKU number. Okay. Um, they don't have a SKU number on here. There's no price. I actually had to scan the barcode. I'll show you the barcode, too. So I had to scan the barcode just to get it to show up, to get a price on it of $3.99, okay? And there's your model number from DeWalt, DCM, let me make sure I got that right, DCMWP233U2. And, oh, yeah, Novice Nick says we lost you for a few seconds, yeah. Well, you lost me a few times during this whole stream just because, I don't know, we hit some low points in the signal coverage. So look, do you want to pay $3.99 for this DeWalt brushless? Or do you want to pay $4.49 for this Ryobi? I think we should check with Shaka first, see what he says. And look at this. These were actually $3.99 on sale, I don't know, what was that, a couple of months ago? It's on sale now, but it was even lower, I think back in October, guys. All right, so there we have it. And I yeah, I just didn't want to take up too many minutes of everybody's day because that's pretty much all we have left. You can see they still got this sea of uh, Ryobi here, the Shaka Shrine. Look at that, all the way up to the ceiling, Shaka. Just for Shaka, our good buddy. Oh, he would be, uh, tears in his eyes if he saw this. Tribute to him. Right here. Okay, so if you guys had any questions that weren't answered in the stream, uh, maybe be sure to leave them in the comments of the video once it uploads and just uh look at this man all the christmas stuff gone except for three trees right here they are 50 off this one tree is actually quite gorgeous he is 2.99 down from 5.99 seven and a half foot balsam for artificial but he's got the little lights on he's got the 4,000 fairy lights they call it i like these kind of lights because they're just so tiny but yet when you back up it looks like it's a like a galaxy this is actually a nice tree. I'm surprised this one's still here. I do see a couple of lights out on it, so I don't know if maybe they didn't uh, get connected right or if there actually is something wrong with it. And then they just got a few pieces of nothing left over here at the, at the, the, the Christmas decorations. You can always tell the stuff that wasn't popular at the very end is like what's left even after 50 off and everything. This is the stuff nobody cares about. So there we have it there. And uh, the poinsettias are still $5.98. They didn't drop the price on these. I, mean, I thought they would have by now. These are some nice ones. We get See, most of the stores have just the red. But here we get the nicer pink. We get pink, white, purple ones. So they look pretty nice here. And look, they've already started just... I hope this is profitable for them because they're taking up quite a bit of floor space with just uh, weed, weed killing stuff there. Oh, we got Rudolph. Somebody's buying a Rudolph there. So here we have it. I'm going to close this out with DeWalt here, folks. 
And I'm going to maybe do a little research on it before I decide whether or not, not to even buy one of these to do uh, testing on. Uh, see how powerful it is and all that. Uh, see what the blade looks like. To, you know, how, what kind of mulching does the blade do? Is it like a double mulching blade or not? And again, I'm sorry that they didn't put the SKU number on it. And I'm kind of looking around all of these different stickers here to see if one of them might have the, the actual Home Depot SKU. So for now, I think you're going to have to go off of this model number right here, all right? So thank you so much, guys, for tuning in on this lovely Saturday, 55 degrees outside right now, nice and comfy. And you guys have, of course, i got to pull the mask back down there. So I look like I'm conforming. You guys have a very great rest of your Saturday. And hopefully we'll see you in a few days. I'll be watching every day to see if anything else drops in price. And you'll be the first to know about it, all right? So have a great one, and we'll see you all later. Bye.